A very good morning and Om Shanti to all of your listeners. Welcome back. Today we are here for the 1st of June, Godly Blessing, where Supreme Court Father is teaching us a method to remove the consciousness of mind. That means the ego of mind. Once we remove this consciousness of mind, it becomes easy for us to become connected to the Supreme Being, to the Supreme Creator, and also to be connected to the pure self within. So let's see, let's understand what does the Supreme Godfather have to say in today's blessing. God says, may you be the one who surrenders the limited consciousness of mind with the awareness of the word Baba. Baba here means the Supreme Father, the Supreme Creator. He's our Creator, so the intellect is also not mine. Nothing in this world is mine. Once this feeling sets in, it becomes easier to be connected to the Supreme Creator, to be whole again. But when we use the word mine, or my way, my idea, my intellect, my method, automatically ego surrounds us, our aura becomes darker, impure, and automatically we feel disconnected from other human beings and they also feel disconnected from us because of the ego. So God then says, may you be the one who surrenders the limited consciousness of mind with the awareness of the word Baba and thereby become an unlimited renunciate. Some children say, the virtue of mind, or this virtue of mind, or this quality of mind, my power, if I, if I wouldn't have used this power, I wouldn't have, or you wouldn't have been able to solve the situation. It was my power. Had I been silent, or had I spoken up, if I wouldn't have spoken up, or if I wouldn't have said something, the situation wouldn't have become better, or that person wouldn't have stayed quiet. We use a lot of I, my, mind throughout the day. And that makes us feel good for a certain period of time because see, ego makes you feel as if dopamine is released in your body and you are very elated or you're very high or a supreme person. And that too is for a very short period of time and then when that dopamine effect goes away and that I, my or mind goes away, automatically the low feeling sets in. Or let's say depression or mood swing sets in. That's where God is relieving us. He's saying, please relieve yourself of this mind. And the method which he explains us to relieve us of this mind is here. He says, this virtue of mind, saying something like this, or my power, this is a mistake. To consider a gift from God to be yours is a great sin. This virtue, if I'm able to speak in front of you, with, in front of this camera, and I'm able to share this, word, this godly blessing with you, and this quality of speaking is given to me by God. It's not my own. But if I say this is my quality, I spoke well, or I explained it well, then that ego is going to reverberate all over the world. It's going to just go out and boomerang to me. Boomerang to me in the sense people won't have any connection with me. They won't have feel any connection with me. They will feel disconnected or discontented by listening to if I say this is mine or my quality. So God is trying to tell us that we should not do this great sin by saying that godly powers or godly gifts or godly virtues are mine. Then he says, some children say in an ordinary way, my virtue or my intellect is not used. We generally say, oh no, it is not me, it is actually it is God's gift. Or it is, uh, it is this. I didn't have this. It is given to me by God. We say it in a very ordinary way, but it's not an ordinary thing. God bestows us with the powers, with the gift, with the virtues, provided we deserve it. And if we generate ego about it, they leave us very soon too. So then God says, however, to say mine is to make it dirty. It means mixing it up. It is also deception. Therefore, surrender this limited consciousness of mine and constantly remember the word Baba, who has given it to me. And you will then be considered to be a renunciate soul. So we want to be a renunciate soul. We want to be somebody who is remembered as somebody without any consciousness of ego, without any consciousness of mind. Then the only method is to remember the Supreme Creator, the Supreme Father, Baba. Otherwise, this ego will eat us up and we'll feel lonely throughout our life and all the virtues given to us by God will leave us instantly. So protect them with this purity that this is not mine. 
it's all God's. It's given by Him. And it is only given when I'm worthy. How to become worthy is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. How to improve your skills. How to become complete. How to become the supreme self. The highest self. Because we are not even reaching there. How to become that is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. And the first thing which we learn is to remove this mind attitude. And it is taught on a daily basis. You two can come over and learn this. With this, have a blessed day. Om Shanti.